Hello everyone, welcome to another useful React Components. In this tutorial, we will talk about uh, radio buttons, uh, how we can uh, add it with React Hook form and bind them all together. Let's see how we do it. Okay, in past four tutorials, we learned how to add input field, simple input field, a date picker, a simple select, or multi-select. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add the checkbox. So whenever we have some checkboxes, like radio field, uh, we can add these fields as well. So as soon as we select the items that we have for the form and we submit the form, it gets the value from the radio button. So let's see how we do it. So I just use this radio field like the other ones that we had on the view so we learned all of this stuff if you have not watched the previous tutorials you can go back and watch it but for this tutorial we focus on the radio field this radio field gets uh, different parameters as you can see here the first parameter that we define is if it's required or not and then we should specify the field name this is for react hook form to recognize this field and register it and then we have a label for it so the label comes here so as you can see it's right here and we have to provide the options basically so in this case we provided the uh, name and value for each object so name means that if we specify the name uh, for example for this one the name is male but the value that it sends is also the same value if i change it to capital m a l e so it will show this one as a name, but the value it will be sent as capital um, M-A-L-E. So, and also if you have some error messages for this field, uh, we can just pass this error message. But let's go through the radio field and see what exactly it has and how we can implement this radio field type. So it's a very simple, basic React field. I just uh, collapsed all of the fields so you don't get confused it has some props so let's go through the props uh, so we can specify some class names so you can add the styling part so if they pass this class name from here they can add styles for their uh, radio button uh, we have a props called checked and it's for the time that we want to specify if the select um, radio button is checked or not uh, custom radio props uh, we will get to in this one later this is the field name that we specified here and this is basically for react with form um, that it specifies the field name for us this one is group class name it uh, also again for specifying some class names for the group uh, as I can let me open this one so you will see uh, there there is a group form here that we pass this class name right onto that. So that's for this one. Uh, this one for inline, uh, sometimes we want to have our uh, radio buttons to be inline, but sometimes not. It means that it will set it up um, vertically versus horizontally. And uh, we may need a label for it. If we need the label for our uh, checkbox, we can specify label class name if we want to have some styling for the label we can add this class name and then have some styling for that class name options for course the, this is the options that we mentioned here so we can add some options for our uh, radio buttons it will group them together and show as one uh, register is for the react hook form we just pass it from the width form that we have on our file and if we can specify if this uh, radio button is required or not and at the end we can have some validation message error message that pass into the props so let's see what we have here and uh, we talked about the form group class it will uh, check if we have the class for our uh, form uh, it will use that form class group class and add it right here on this field if we don't have it it just don't pass the class name. that's all about this line same thing for the label if you have the class name for label, it will add it as this. But if you don't have it, it will pass the empty string. So it will add empty string right here. And we have our label here. 
we have uh, some uh, state to track the value of the checkbox uh, and then we have some handle on change so if the radio button has changed how do we handle it basically sets the value uh, so for implementation or render part uh, it goes through the options of the radio button so the options that we receive here as the props it goes through them and then map through it and gets the value or uh, labels and put it to the view and it uses the form check of react bootstrap and it adds all of the props that we define or we get it some part of it from the parent to the component so uh, this is custom radio props if some people wants to add some custom props into their uh, radio button they can easily doing that they can pass it uh, from this props and pass it here this is for the time that for example they want to add some props from the react um, rack bootstrap and they want to directly pass it here and it will work out of the box for them and uh, we have this register uh, that it specifies for react hook form that it registers the field and then you can specify the handle change which we defined here to handle the change for radio button uh, we have checked which is uh, for the time that it should uh, recognize if the value that we have is match with the props that we get from each item it checks the um, radio button so since it's mapping through the items that we added as an option so here so these are the this is the array and it mapped through these options and if the value of any options um, becomes the same as the value of uh, the radio button field it will mark it as checked uh, this field since uh, it, ha it requires an ID so it requires a unique ID so uh, we used uh, some item value and index combining together to make a unique ID uh, and if we pass the inline uh, props so if we want to have our radio button to be horizontal or vertical we can define it here uh, this field since it has a map we need a key for it we use the index of this map as a props we pass the label as a item label so it's this is the one that we're using as an option uh, item name will be the label so that's why for each option we have a name so this is how it if how um, we add the name for uh, or label for the radio field if it's required or not again this is from the props that coming from our component and we uh, specify the type here radio uh, there are two other types that you can define but uh, it requires small modifications if I got time I'll have another tutorials for it but there are two other types which is switch and if I change this one to switch you will see switch you'll see how it looks like it doesn't quietly write because it's not a radio button but you will you'll see the look and feel here look and feel here and the switch and if you change it to check checkbox so you'll see that they will become a checkbox so these are the two other types that you can use here but uh, for this one is specifically for radio button if you want to make it work as a switch or check boxes it requires some changes on handle change which we might have tutorial for it this one is specifically for radio uh, but with small modification you can use this one for switch and check box and at the end uh, item value so it recognizes the value it works hand um, it works um, with handle change as well and that's all for this checkbox and how it works if I save it and then go back to the view 
you'll see that it will work for me and every time I change the value it gets the value and this time it should be mail yeah and that's all for checkbox hopefully that was helpful um, if you have not watched the previous tutorials about the other fields and how they bind it together I would definitely recommend you watch it first and then come back here and watch this tutorial have a great day and hope you the best